上海排名第一的排骨年糕 ，the number one 卤肉饭 in Shanghai。我上海人。Hello everyone, welcome to DS Travel. I'm Dan. I'm in Shanghai right now in Xuhui District, and today we're gonna go find all the best street foods of Xuhui Tree. There's gonna be a rice pancake. I have never heard of it. Then there's gonna be a traditional pai gu nian gao pork chop and sticky rice pancake. Then we're gonna try a roasted duck. Then we're gonna go find a Taiwanese street food place run by a couple of Shanghainese. Ah, it's gonna be a lot of good food. Let's go check it out. This mi fan mi is in the front that small restaurant. You guys from when did you start selling? Ah, from six o'clock. Ah, even this. Usually, what do you call it? Chinese food. Chinese mi fan mi. 哦、oh, ，quite amazing. It's slightly crispy on top, and in the middle, it's fluffy, it's moist, and it's a glutinous rice flavor. It's really nice. Wow, I've never tasted this. And they say this is usually go with a、uh, uh, fried dough. Too bad they ran out of fried dough. Otherwise, I will be trying this again. But this is amazing. So I go bye bye. Bye bye. Guys, it's really nice walking on the street of Xuhui.、Uh, it's really a lively、uh, city. Boss, I'll give you a plate. I'll give you a plate. Big plate, big 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 plate. 两片大排，回炸的炸鸡腿，很简单的。这是辣酱油是吧？这是熬的酱，自己熬的酱啊，自己熬的酱啊。对。啊。好。哎、欸，好，谢谢。弄，弄。Crispy on top, the breading is not overly thick, and the meat、uh, slightly tough, but you can still bite into it, and it's really nice chew to it.、Uh, and the sauce is actually sweet and sour. It's kind of like like the tonkatsu sauce you will find in Japanese cuisine, but they add an additional layer of、uh, spicy soy sauce. Not spicy, by the way. <laughs> well, the sticky rice cake is actually, I think, is actually the highlight of this dish. Crispy, chewy, gooey, and just nice rice flavor, and just really goes well with that sauce. Amazing chicken drumstick. Oh, quite flavorful. I mean, it's marinated all the way through with soy sauce, I think, and crispy on the outside, moist, tender on the inside, and it just add that sweet and sour sauce. Quite nice. Quite nice. Hmm. 嗯，啊，大爷老板，拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜。这个爆烤鸭就在排骨年糕旁边，皇宫爆烤鸭，试看看。啊，我可以在你旁边看你切鸭子吗？我，好好，我点半子，二十一点三。哟，去看一下他们怎么切这个烤鸭的。哎，大爷，谢谢谢谢。Alright, guys, just got my、uh, explosive roasted duck. 
Uh, they actually use a pressure cooker. This is how KFC made their chicken, but just without the crust. Uh, anyways, let's give it a try. And this box half duck is 21 Chinese yuan. It's, I think it's 28.8 per 500 yuan. What do you guys think about the price? Mm, mm, mm. Tender and juicy and slightly crispy on the skin and really, really flavorful. Almost a little too salty. It's too bad I came too late. Usually uh, it's out of, fresh out of the pot uh, by 9 a.m. Right now it's a little, already a little soft. But anyways, that's our roasted duck. Let's go for our next stop. Guys, right up front, on our way to our next stop, there's actually a special meat pancake that I have been wanting to try. Let's go see it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alright guys, just got my uh Minbei Robin. Minbei is actually south of Fujian and I got one veggie and one with pork. Oh, delicious, crunchy and sour and spicy and aromatic. Reminds me of the sauerkraut or the sour pickled vegetables in Taiwan, but in a spicy version. Very nice. Okay, let's go try the meat one. Mm. The meat flavor is amazing too. Crunchy outside, really has nice pork umami with it. And you can also taste the scallion aroma. Compared to the spicy veggie ones, it's not as special. Seven for each of them. A little expensive actually, but anyways, let's go for our next stop. It's right up front, and this road is Hang Le Lu. Uh, there's a lot of uh, boutique shops uh, along the street. Uh, it might be a nice walking street, I think. Okay, let's go check it out. All right, guys, just sitting down and ordered. I ordered lu rou fan, which is a braised uh, ground pork rice, and mian jin sai rou, xian dan rou bing, suan la cai. And as far as I know, the owners are Shanghainese. Alright guys, now let's get to our braised pork over rice. Uh, it's looking quite nice actually. Let's take a bite. Mm. <laughs> The braised pork over rice was amazing. Wow, the ground pork is smooth, it's really fine, it's creamy, it's savory with a nice soy sauce, the braised sauce flavor coated nicely over that rice. Love it, love it. Let's try the mian jin xiang rou. 
super flavorful as well. The outside, the purple skin is almost melting, fully immersed <laughs> with all the flavors. And the, the ground pork is actually really nice and just falls apart in your mouth. Wow. And this is a uh, spicy and sour uh, kimchi. Nice and sour and refreshing and crunchy. Different than the Taiwanese kimchi, it's more on the sour side. Let's give it a try on this xian dan rou bing. Oh, very xian, very good. I eat this xian dan rou bing. It's good. It's so 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 good. 好，老板拜拜，老板拜拜，哎，老板娘拜拜，拜拜，拜拜拜拜拜拜拜拜，谢谢啊，好，谢谢。Alright, guys, just finished、uh, the last、uh, stop of our video, and the braised pork over rice was amazing. Exactly how I tasted in Taiwan. The salty egg with ground pork made into a patty. That just way too salty for me. I had to pack it home. And in this episode, we have tried rice pancake. Taigu Nian Gao pork chop with a sticky rice cake and roasted duck. Also, a Minbei Rou Bing, a Mi pancake. And then we finish up with the number one Lu Rou Fan in Shanghai. That's a lot of fun. And if you like this video, please do me a favor, click the subscribe button. We'll see you in the next Street Food video. Bye.